Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at what it really takes to recover data from a drive. And this will be in a soft recovery mode, meaning we will not physically open the hard drive like they would do in the lab because I don't have a lab. So that's not going to happen. This will be done in a software mode. But first, what goes on to doing that, there are a few procedures that at least I personally do with every single drive that comes to my hands. This is the drive here. Right now, it looks like nothing's wrong with it, but there's files missing, and there's a suspicion that there might be viruses or Trojan or Koi miners or whatnot inside of it. So now, what we are going to do today is take a carbon copy. That's what I call it. Here on my 10 terabyte drive that I use for copies, I open a folder that's called Seagate, Seagate Carbon Copy. This is from the 5 terabyte Seagate. I will open it. I'm going to hide the uh, files here. I'm going to select all of them, click copy, and I'm going to paste every single file pre-scanning. This is very important. Yes, this machine is uh, offline, so I am not connected to any internet or anything, and these folders are sandboxed, that they will not communicate with the rest of the computer. So now, what's happening? This will be, I think this drive had around one terabyte taken on it so far. So we will have to wait for that one terabyte to be fully copied. So I have a complete carbon copy on the side. And no, I don't mean carbon copy like the software carbon copy, but carbon copy, I mean copy and paste. Because I notice sometimes if I do this copy with software, yes, I have software to do that if I wish so, but the software sometimes will skip files. I do not want it to skip any file, even the bad, corrupted, or infested files. I want them all to be right there. After this process, then we begin the process of scanning the drive. Yes, I'm using a, a ESET NOT32. In my opinion, it does a good job. There's multiple softwares that I can use sometimes, but this one I know is not that bad, and the detections you see right here are not exactly the highest malware or something most of the time they are uh corrupt files and unfortunately that happens and let me just skip the video a little bit to where it actually detects things and here is a table of detections and yes it's still going on these are most of them are corrupt files so they're not exactly bad but some of them are suspicious they could be coin miners trojan and whatnot and then when you finish scanning you can apply actions to clean 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 this could be not a no action or you can hit delete but first check if that is a file that you might need you can open this uh, table a little bit wider and check what the file is it's a backup zip file most likely this is just a corrupted file and i don't see any problem this is a coin miner that i just saw i told you search suite these are pups and they're not always dangerous but for the sake of it, after we did the uh, copy already, we hit apply and get rid of them. But first, I'm going to wait for the full test to finish or full scan to finish. Then we will uh, put the drive on a bench uh, aside from this computer that will actually go through a recovery and scan of every single file inside the drive let me remind you that this process even though it's only software sometimes it takes up to three weeks depending on the drive depending on the age of the drive the shape of the drive shape by that i mean how damaged it might be or all that and the size of the drive this one is a five terabyte i expect this one to go upwards a week a week and a half at least and yes I have multiple different software methods to recover files. And yes, most of the time I use premium paid software, which are made by engineers. And so far, all these years, they've been reliable and good. And we will see what software I use for that in a second. And as you see, the scan will be going on and we will let the scan go on until it's completely finished. Okay, guys, here we are prepping the station for uh, the recovery. Yes, it doesn't look like there is a lot going on here, but actually there is. I have two two terabyte drives, just in case, to have on the side. 
in case there's more data to be recovered from here. The laptop of choice, of course, it's my ThinkPad T430, which I upgraded. It no longer has just i5 and all that. That's for another story. I'm not going to go into that. And here, uh, I'm not sure if you can see the screen. It's flickering, but uh, you'll see it inside the OBS studio, which I will turn right now. Okay, so now what do we have here? I have the uh, drive dock or the drive bay, whatever you want to say. It's a uh, two SATA. You can put three and a half or two and a half inch inside. A fan, because this will take days. This is not going to be something that I start today and by tomorrow is done. No, 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 that's not going to happen. This will be probably sometimes even over a week or two. And the start of the show here is the drive. And yes, this drive, I could possibly go with uh, pl plugging it directly with a USB cable provided with it, but that is not reliable, not super fast, and it can move. I found that if you plug it, if you plug the hard drive directly on the bay, it actually works much, much better. And that's what we are gonna do right now. Before we turn on anything, I'm gonna extract the drive from inside here. I'll try the soft method first, and if that doesn't happen, then we go with a hard method. But first, let's see if we can uh, take it out of the shell. Okay, and uh, part of the shell is out. Now the drive should come off from here because it's in some rubbers. And now we just have to take these screws, yes, really quick from there. Release the drive out of here and put the drive directly here. And we're gonna do just that. I'm not gonna waste these or get them lost because they will be put back in. And as I said before, this drive at this moment has only around one gigabytes taken out or memory that's uh, used on it. And I will have to see if that can be the only things we have there, or it might have stuff saved on it for years, which some documents are what we want to get out of here. And that's pretty much it. A five terabyte Seagate drive that will go in the bay. And usually I put this one on the number one slot and I put the recovery disc when it's time, any of them on the second bay, just to have a good backup because that's how it works. Let me plug it right here. And yes, we turn it on. Now we wait for the laptop to recognize it. And meanwhile, I'm gonna turn on this fan. So this will keep it uh, from overheating because that's the last thing we wanna see. A drive that's on recovery mode to be heated. You know, that's a no-no because you cannot just stop the recovery because you want to. And the drive has been recognized now. And the uh, software of choice for this time is gonna be Ease US data recovery. I know it's there's a lot of other ones. I have Stellar, I have Minitool. They work good, they work really good. But just for ease of use, I go with uh, Ease US or Ease Us data recovery because I find it a little bit much easier. Plus, I have a license for this one in a better way. And we're gonna hit scan and it will do its own automatic scanning stuff. So don't worry about that part. And we're gonna just hit scan here. And it will take a while. And here, this is just a quick scan for right now for deleted files and all that. Then it will go again for a deeper scan and when it's done with this part. And as you see right here on the bottom, you have as advanced scanning. Now this one is gonna go on sometimes for days. So far, it just grabbed whatever it uh, found inside the drive, but not deleted file files or grab files or lost files. And after it's done with that, then it will go in a deep scan and we will get an option to hit recover. That's when these two, uh, two terabyte drives come in. And I usually only copy the lost, deleted, and corrupted files to these drives is the existing ones. I have zero interest because they're already in my uh, comp other computer drive that are uh, scanned. And we will let it continue scanning. And that's it. That's just to show you quickly what it really takes in a soft mode scanning. This is not on a hardware level, we did not dismantle the hard drive itself. To go in a lab mode, as I said before, 
This is simply soft scanning and this will sometimes take days or weeks. And yes, it must have some proper cooling and must be always connected to power. Do not disconnect it from power while it's scanning a drive. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something from this video and we will see you next time. Bye!